Necrons are boring? Who said that? Time for a Necron Natter. Nick speaking, and welcome to this video. Uh, right, let's have a little natter about Necrons. In particular, uh, are Necrons boring? So, this is just a little chilled chit chat. Um, I've got my cup of coffee, which I will try to drink, because usually I have one sip at the beginning of the video, then I have no more. And I love my coffee. Um, so, yeah. Um, I've seen quite a few comments from people um, around over the years saying uh, that Necrons are boring. Um, and as you know, uh, Necrons is my biggest love um, in this hobby. Um, it uh, was my first army and this is my first codex. And uh, I bought Necrons because of that picture on the front of the codex. I went in, saw all of the codexes, saw this picture on here, and just instantly just fell in love with Necrons. Um, and this codex stayed with me for 10 years before it was updated. Um, so I've been playing a lot with this codex. And uh, I've seen the codex go from being really, really strong, really, really good, to getting worse and worse and worse. Um, with the codex creep, uh, new editions of rule books coming out, etc. Um, and towards the end of that 10 year life, um, I couldn't win with this codex. Um, I was able to draw, thanks to Fritz and all his tactical videos. I went from losing every week to drawing every week, but I couldn't pull a win out of the bag. Um, but over that time, I've had so much fun playing Necrons, and personally, I don't think they're boring at all. So, let's have a chat about it. So yeah, in this original codex, um, I can see why people may think that they are boring because the, the choices, the options, were very limited. So you only had one HQ. Uh, you could have uh, some war gear on him. Uh, so you could change his war gear, but there's just one model. Um, and then you had your troops choice, warriors, no upgrades, uh, then you had your elite choices, um, no upgrades, you're seeing realise that apart from your lord you have no upgrade options. Now for me personally that was great because it made um, my learning of the game very easy um, because I didn't have to think about oh do I take Tesla on the Immortals, do I take Ghouls on the Immortals, it's like no options, no upgrades, uh, put your models on the table and play. Um, and not only that, of course, we only had one tank back then, and that was the monolith. Um, so, um, for me, that was good. Now, admittedly, it slowed down my learning of the whole of the game, because my buddy was playing uh, Blood Angels, and he had tanks, speeders, walkers, uh, all these different types of units, jump pack units, etc. And he learned all of his rules, um, and the rules in general much quicker than I did because I didn't have all of those funny options. Um, so I did learn the rules slower and it wasn't really until I started to get my second army, my Space Wolves, that I actually started to learn more rules from the main rule book. So I suppose there is that to, to it. But um, are they boring? Well, Again, I can see why they might be boring in here, because not only did you have a limited amount of options, a limited amount of units, uh, there was only really one play, one play style with Necrons, and that was that you had to stay within six inches of that resurrection orb uh, to get your will be backs, as they were called then, your RP, um, and also you had to have another unit of the same type on the table. So I very quickly learnt that you need more than one unit, so it wasn't just taking a Necron Heavy Destroyer unit, you had to have two Heavy Destroyer units to help with the Will Be Backs, and then you had to be within six inches of an orb to get your Will Be Backs, and then all of a sudden your army became very blocky, you were like almost had to play the army as a blob. And there I can see A, the choice of units available, and then how you play your army, that arguably a lot of people think it was boring. Now, as the codex 
keep putting this one up because I love it so much. Look at that. As the codex um, got worse and worse, I started to discover um, that you couldn't play Necrons how you used to play them. You had to play them differently. And that's where I uh, moved away from being six inches of that orb, actually not using the orb um, in that way and playing unusual different lists. Um, that's where um, I discovered that Netcons were so much more than what everyone thought they were. Now, of course, Games Workshop rewrote the Necron Codex. A new one came out. They rewrote the fluff, um, introducing new characters um, to the army, uh, new units, weapon options, upgrades, um, and uh, they gave them a massive boost. And I think that's when uh, Necrons, a lot of people thought Necrons were actually no longer boring. Um, and I can see why, again, yeah. Personally, I wasn't so keen on the change. Um, it was nice having maybe some more tanks to the army, like the ghost arcs, etc. But, um, you know, um, I, I would have been happy just to have this codex here, this codex here with how they play, just updated. Um, but changes always happen with Games Workshop. So I took on board, I got the new models, and of course that's why they changed everything, to make you buy new models. Um, and uh, yeah, I had a good time with that codex. And then they introduced another codex, and that is the codex which they had the Decurion in, the Reclamation Legion, the Formations. Um, and all of a sudden, people were picking you know, they were unlocking the best formations, the best units, the best way to play Necrons. And uh, all of a sudden, the armies that you saw on the table from Necrons were all the same or very similar. So you were looking at a Reclamation Legion with uh, either Canaptic Harvests or the Judicator uh, Battalion or, of course, the Destroyer Cult and um, three best formations. Probably there are there in the codex, along with obviously having to take the Decurion to make sure you get your 4 plus RP. Um, and all of a sudden, if you wanted to be competitive, um, you were finding your armies were looking the same, same as everyone else's army. And I think that's where they've really picked up this reputation of being boring. Uh, now, whilst I 100% um, can see why people take those type of armies, um, I think that there's been a lot of overlooking of the new codex, this one here. This codex picture a lot, a lot better than the last one. Um, let me show you the last one. So the last one, um, yeah, I don't like that at all. That did not float my boat, especially after knowing that that was my most favorite picture ever. And then this one comes out, it's like, really? Didn't like that one. This one, that's pretty cool. I like that one. I like that. Um, anyway, this codex here, yes. So, um, I think that in this book, there's a lot more potential than people are using. Um, and that's what I've been doing. I've been coming up with lists outside of the Takurian um, as much as I can recently um, and expanding my army uh, to be a bit different. Uh, so, the tournament I went to um, at War Games, there were quite similar, samey lists, uh, where there was four Necron players and all three of them I believe all had the Takurian. Um, and I was the only one without, I just had a normal CAD, well, dual CADs. Um, but out of the four players, I came top out of all four Necron players, so um, definitely you don't have to have that um, Reclamation Legion, the Takurian thing. But regardless of all that, um, are Necrons boring? Obviously, um, everyone has their own opinions. Personally, I don't think they're boring at all. I absolutely love playing Necrons. Um, my most fun army to play, to be fair, is Tyranids. Tyranids are fun to play. Um, I think they're probably similar level to Orcs. Uh, just a fun army to play and a, a fun army to play against. And Necrons, for me, are also really, really fun. They have a lot of fun elements to them. And uh, I do really enjoy playing them. Just have a quick sip of coffee. 
So what I enjoy about Necrons is uh, the visual side. I mean, it's Terminator, basically, let's face it. Uh, you line up, I mean, there's nothing better than seeing lots of warriors on the table. Um, big units of warriors, how cool do they look? Um, and I just enjoy the way that they play. They're obviously quite a shooty army, but they do have some assault elements, so I think they're fairly all-rounded. Um, and also, um, now there's some quite unusual rules as well, obviously, with the we'll be back. I mean, that's different now because obviously you've got the RP, um, but that's an always that's always a great rule to have. And over the years, it's been adapted. You, at one point, you could teleport your units through the monolith and re-roll your RP. Um, and I think that's the that's the other thing actually, which I think in this codex um, really puts people off is. Uh, it really puts people off expanding their armies is the fact that in the Reclamation Legion the RP is a 4 plus and outside of it it's a 5 plus. Uh, now you do lose your objective secure by being in the Decurion um, and I think that's probably the main the main disadvantage of the Decurion but apart from that it's a rock solid way to go with Necrons um, but not definitely not the only way and I think that's been proved um, in in various ways, in particular, if you look at Super Wargaming and his channel and the, some of the tactical videos that he does, and the battle reports that he does, he doesn't play Reclamation Legion. He actually feels that uh, the standard codex outside of the Legion, <coughs> outside of the Decurion, is actually stronger. And I'm starting to maybe feel that that could be the case, or at least the meta um, has changed. So, if you if you're not taking so if you're changing the meta from what people are expecting to see with the Necron Codex to what you actually bring with the Codex, I think actually makes the what you take stronger because people aren't expecting it. So, um, do you think Necrons are boring? Now I know a lot of people that watch these type of videos are going to be Necron players and of course they're not going to say Necrons are boring. Um, but then I know a lot of you that watch these videos don't necessarily play Necrons. Um, so I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Do you think they're boring? And if you do, why? Um, I don't get offended by people thinking that my army's boring because I enjoy them, I like them. Um, I like fielding them, I like playing them. I love painting them and I suppose that's another thing as well. It's not just necessarily Necrons on the table, but a lot of people don't like painting Necrons. They say they're boring to paint. In actual fact, for my first ever tournament, my first ever tournament game was against a player who was playing Space Marines who said that he had a Necron army but he got bored of painting it so he gave up on it. Um, now personally, I don't get bored of painting, painting Necrons. I think they're great to paint, they're nice and easy. They look really cool, um, just having, the, yeah, okay, they're metal. I mean, mine are just plain metal colour, but once you start putting in those greens and making the, the, the pop factor of those models, uh, I really like them, really enjoy them. I love the, the green rod in them. I know a lot of people don't like the green rod. Personally, I like it. It's different, unusual, um, unique to the, the army. And of course, you don't have to paint Necrons metal colour. You can paint them any colour you like, you know. Uh, bone colour, um, it's obviously with the new dynasties, you've got all the different colour um, dynasties as well, so you can have like red and stuff. Um, there's loads and loads of things that you can do with Necrons. Uh, so, I, I, again, I disagree. Personally, I think Necrons are really, really fun to paint. I think they're a good army to paint. Um, and also the bases, you can have a lot of fun with Necron bases, with crystals and rocks and stuff. Um, yeah. I personally love love Necrons, as you know, and of course I am biased, um, but yeah, Necrons are they boring? Uh uh, not on your Nelly, no way. Um, okay, so that's it for today's natter. Uh, just a chit chat, a bit of a ramble probably, to be fair, but just wanted to get that out there. Um, Necrons aren't boring, so yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs>